Hi, I'm Billy Brown, Board Certified Behavior Analyst. Today we're going to talk about Taskless Item B1. On that, there's Behavior, Response, and Response Class. Now, when we talk about a behavior, it's something that is observable and measurable. And a lot of times, you're going to hear us refer to that as something that we can um, operationally define and then track in the field. A response is a particular instance of that behavior. And then finally, a response class is when we have a, uh, either a, any response, any instance of the behavior that serves the same purpose um, as the behavior. So not totally concerned about the topography there, just that it serves the same final purpose. So let's take a walk and we'll give some real world examples of this. So let's talk about the behavior of opening a door. We might operationally define that as the organism reaches for a door handle, turns it, and pushes outward. That would be our operational definition of the behavior. We can observe it, we can measure it. Now, in response of that, a particular instance of that would be what you just saw, me opening up the door. We could record that on a data sheet. But when we talk about something like a response class, where the topography can change slightly, that's where you might see something like, I'm opening an elevator door versus the office door. So you gotta remember in a response class, as long as it serves the same purpose, that, and it's, it's an instance of that behavior, it'll fall into that response class. Hopefully that helps, and if you can, try to write your own operational definition for what I just did with opening the door, and we'll, we'll try to get back to you the best we can in the comments. Thanks.